Hey guys, this is going to be my first uh, squishy cake tutorial. It's my first tutorial ever, actually. Um, it's going to be small, and the items you usually need are your crazy glue. Usually you glue two pieces together of the same size, and it'll, it'll look, it makes it look more real. But this one has the two colors already in there, so I'm not going to do that. It's got the little green and like yellow tan color. Um, optional. The silicone. Everybody, as you can tell, likes to use Alex Plus and the silicone, the icing tip, which this one is a size, pretty sure it's size, size 18, but people use different sizes. I think for a small one like this, I'd probably need a smaller one, but it's okay. <laughs> it's probably not going to be that great of a squishy cake because it's trying to do it all and watching the camera, making sure I'm staying in there and it's focused and everything. And then, of course, your um, your puffy paint scribbles. They work just as well for my very first one. Let's see if I have it out here. For my very first squishy cake, I used the scribbles. It's a really old bottle. Um, scribbles glittery paint. It's like purple. It's glittery. It's very pretty. I wasn't able to find more, so I'm going to have to look. So I got Scribbles, the whole pack, for $9. All kinds, I mean Puffy, for all kinds of different, all kinds of different colors. <laughs> Sorry. And let me show you the cakes I've made before. Just so you guys get an idea of how, what I kind of do. I just come up with these on my own. Like, I don't know, I just put colors I think are pretty together and different stuff. So this was the very first one I made. I made the with the glittery Scribbles paint. It's purple and it's got the eye pin in this one's the same cake same sponge I used for this one so I didn't glue it either to another piece because it kind of already looks like two layers um, it's got little cherries that I made and the silicone <clears throat> second one I made was this um, strawberry chocolate cake it's very pretty I still need to finish this and this one I used two sponges layered together super glued them or crazy glued them whatever and they um <clears throat> this one was my third one it's like a blueberry strawberry also two pieces glued together layered and colored I just need to finish these I always leave the bottom uncolored so I can let the top dry but I have a problem getting to it <laughs> and this one is my recent one which I think is so cute it's like a chocolate I might leave the bottom like this and call it a chocolate mint strawberry cake. I think it's pretty cute. Like, I think the colors go well. And it's got the little piece in there. The little cherry piece. So, yeah. that's And it's got the eye pin as well. This one, I'm kind of just going to throw something together. Hopefully it works <laughs> the way I want it to. Um, so, let's get started. I don't want the video to get too long. Uh, most people use um, like paint brushes to do this. I don't. I just do it with the bottle. You just put the paint on and start coloring, and it works pretty, really good, actually. Better than you'd expect it to. So let's hope I've um, never used the white. So let's hope this white puffy paint will do what I'm wanting it to do right now. Well, the idea that I have in mind for it to look a certain way. So, let's hope it does it, yeah. So, you just use a tip. You don't need a lot. Tip of the bottle will usually do for coloring it. Seems to be working fairly well. Make sure I stay in the. If it's not too that or too pretty of a cake or that great, it's kind of a last minute thing I'm throwing together here. I had planned it, but I had time right now, and I thought, why not? So I didn't research much. Something like not something like you know a design or anything or for the cake. I just oh, for the tutorial I was gonna make like a really pretty design that I looked up or something on a cake somewhere, but 
I decided to just go with whatever comes to my mind. Okay, it's not coloring it as much as I wanted to, so we're going to have to do what I thought so, but it's okay. It works. So, that's that. And now we're going to use the silicone. So I have an idea. I hope it works. I hope it doesn't mess up, and if it does, bear with me, guys. Okay, am I still in the shot? Yeah. Usually I let them dry, but I don't want to make the video too long. So, I'm not going to let it dry so the, the silicone is going to have a hard time sticking to the sponge. So, yeah. <laughs> Looks cute so far. I honestly never ever plan anything for the tutorial is going to, but being creative spontaneously always gives me, oh, hitting the camera gives me better work, so let's hope it works this time. <laughs> okay, so there's that. I have kind of an idea of what I want it to look like, but oh, it's going to be hard because of the holding it and stuff. I'll probably just didn't need to put the white puffy paint on it so I was trying not to use as much silicone because it takes longer to dry but I had to anyways so using the puffy paint was pointless but it's okay it's okay it's all part of a learning process it's a tutorial video to teach you guys so you guys ah, you guys can see my mistakes and learn this is gonna be a heavy little cake <laughs> You know, find your little design you want to give it. You can do like little star kind of looking things. Straight lines. Oh, I keep getting out of the shot, but it's kind of hard. So you guys see, and I'm still going to do more, but... Yeah, it's going to have to wait because it's really wet. So I think the other idea I had was I'm only going to do the top. So it has, see, otherwise I keep getting on my fingers and it's going to end up looking horrible. But this is looking really cute. It's Fair enough, if you guys can hear the music in the background. But I believe this is the Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. I love this song. I don't want to squeeze too much, so. Hope you guys can see. Oh, I squeeze too much. Exactly what I said not to do. I do. <laughs> Make thin lines with the paint. So something like that. I'll take pictures too if I notice once I review the video that the quality didn't come out like I wanted it. I'll take pictures so you guys can see better detail. Because my other camera takes beautiful detail. But the problem is that it takes forever <laughs> to upload. It took me once, like my very first video. It's called Eve's Polymer Clay Creation. Some of these are like still new. <laughs> Um, it took like almost an entire day and everybody was kind of upset because the internet was going all slow and I was like, I'm sorry, I really want to upload it. Oh no, too much yet again. I have a problem with squeezing this gently. This is random, you guys. I don't know. So if it looks horrible, I'm sorry, but you guys, get, you guys will get the idea and put be able to put your own designs into it. Let's see if I can zoom in better for you guys. Yeah, something like that. So I'm definitely going to finish the bottom. 
and I can take a picture like I said see take a picture and um and um the bottom will be done but at the bottom but I need to let it dry otherwise see it's getting all over my hands and I don't want it to mess up because this is kind of a random little design see there's brown everything on my hands you can do so many different things like this one has got the instead of drizzling from the top like the first one was it's drizzling from the center this one's not really drizzling it's just thin lines of chocolate covering it what is the other one? Oh, here it is this one's crisscrossed but this one has also the silicone underneath the white you see is the silicone and um, it's drizzled a little you don't have to make it exactly like that like this one where the silicone was very like puffed up this one was very flat and it's still got a little swirly silicone there and um, <clears throat> it's, it's really fun making these and even though you use the silicone it's still very squishy like you don't have to really worry it doesn't break it's very flexible and stuff and it's pretty cool so yeah these are my cakes oh did I get chocolate I did get the chocolate on it these are my cakes and I hope you guys enjoyed them and I hope you guys really found this tutorial helpful. If not, let me know and I can definitely work on making a better one. I enjoy making these. Um, any tutorials you guys, any requests you guys have, go ahead and ask me. I cannot guarantee that it will be like 100% perfect because, you know, there's some people on here that are amazing. Like, I think one of them is Jellyfish Charms. Her stuff is amazing. Like, here... I would do the deco den pieces and I use and I combine it with the 3D paint. I don't know if you can see it. And I've made my own I make my own items. The bow I made myself as well. Um, yeah. It's different little things you guys want may want to ask me to make a tut video tutorial on. So have a good day guys. Thanks for watching, subscribe, rate, and like.